Hello and welcome to the video channel of MPRugs.com. My name is Mike Panna. I'm the owner of the business. And in this Persian rug video, I'm going to talk to you about one of the most popular designs that has become very thought after in high-end Persian rugs. This is a design known as the Gombat. It is the dome-shaped pattern. Um, it comes in several different types as you can see here but in this video i'm going to give you a little bit of a background of this beautiful design talk about the artwork and um, give you a little bit of several examples and also explain to you a little bit about where it's from why you typically only find it in high-end persian rugs and when I talk about high-end Persian rugs, we're talking about the pure silk gom rugs, like this rare octagon that you see here, or the round piece that's to my left. It is most commonly found in Tabriz Persian rugs, like this uh, five foot by seven foot piece that is hanging on the wall, which is roughly one and a half meters by two meters. And then you'll also find it in, for example, in Kashmir rugs, uh, the silk rugs right here and behind me. Um, these are rugs that you'll find on our website that oftentimes were actually designed by um, my own family alongside with the weavers. Um, they know that they have the skills on how to make the rugs. We are getting the input of what our clients like. And we're looking for ways to, um, to come up with new designs and new ideas. So in this video, it's going to be all about the gombats. But to get started, I first want to briefly talk to you a little bit about the background, about where the design actually got inspired from. And then I'm going to show you different examples and explain to you a little bit about what to look for. And um, so like I said, it's one of the most popular designs that we have, uh, that I have on my website. My clients, typically, they love them. And also, depending on the type of a gomba design um, in a rug, you will have sometimes more colors, sometimes you have less colors, sometimes you also have different type, uh, different colors altogether. For example, in the gold rugs, you typically don't have as many colors as you have in the Tabriz rugs. The least amount of colors in Persian rugs typically are in the Nain rugs. But I'm going to talk to you about all that later. What I want to do real quick is give you a little background. The Gombat design got started, if you look at large interior, uh, large buildings throughout the Middle East, bazaars, mosques, large palaces, any type of large building, you will see these types of dome patterns. If you look at the picture of the bazaar, Imagine standing inside the bazaar, which is an enclosed building, and staring at the ceiling. Look at the ceiling. You see the gombat design. Or look at the outside of a large mosque. I believe this one comes from Isfahan. And you can also see it in the outside decor of the ancient buildings. This is a design that goes back centuries, if not millennia. And you can see how it is a very Middle Eastern design that has been there for many, many years, like I said, for centuries, and has been incorporated into Persian rugs for the last about 40, 50 years. So here I'm back again, just to give you an idea. This is a Tabriz, and this is what you typically find. Um, and then here is a Kashmir piece, a pure silk gom, 
Another silk round cashmere that I'm actually proud to state that I designed this one with the weavers. And then we have a pure silk gold. So what I'm gonna do is, as I've done with a lot of the other videos, I'm gonna get behind the camera and then I can zoom in and out and give you a little bit of details about this design. And so I'm gonna see you again here in just a second. So here I'm back again, uh, this time behind the camera. And as I showed you, I'm gonna use this piece right here as an example because this is a very classic gombat design this is um, of the three types of popular gombat designs this right here is the most classic um, the tabriz gombats are probably the best known Gomba examples of the Gomba design and as is as I mentioned to you earlier in the video they're almost always because of the difficulty in weaving they're almost always made on high-end types of Persian rugs but whether it is a Tabriz or whether it is a Nain or Isfahan you typically have the same type of features which is different colors and depending on the type of rug you will have some of them have more colors and some have less but um, in almost all cases you have this white silk the these lines right here are almost always silk this is what differentiates the gomba design from the more classic designs. I'm just going to go over here to the Nain real quick. On the Nains, you typically have silk added to the design. Whereas in the Gombats, the silk is added typically in, as white fields, a little bit in the design, but mainly as borders. So in this Tabriz, for example, you see all of this almost white, this cream color, that is all pure silk. That is what you typically find in the Gombat pieces. Um, and of course, the exception to that is like the ones that you see right here, being that these are all basically silk. These are, this is a pure silk round Gombat, again, the Gombat design, very popular. Imagine looking back at the picture of the inside of the bazaar, looking at the ceiling. Imagine if here you got the curved ceiling, you have the centerpiece, which sometimes would have been a piece of glass, and then you have the dome pattern outside. This symmetric design, this is one of the most popular designs that I have, especially in the round and the square pieces. Um, here is another piece. This is a cashmere single knot, very similar in terms of quality and colors to the silk, uh, to the Tabriz Persian rugs. And in case you're wondering, it's on purpose. I'm going to take full credit for actually helping with the design of this piece right here. Um, what we did was we have so many clients who want the gombat pieces, but they want it in different sizes. And getting round rugs made in Tabriz for us has become so difficult that we have worked with the weavers in Kashmir, and they are able to produce this gorgeous design on the single knot quality, which is much denser, it is thicker and actually finer than the standard cashmere, so it's a much more durable. Um, very uh, quality-wise, very similar to the Tabriz. This is obviously a very fine wool rug with silk highlights. This one is actually a silk pile with cotton. But it's, I'm very proud of it. Obviously, this helps me, you know, this is an ego thing for me. Then here we have a super rare octagon gom piece. And one of the things that the gom rugs, the gom, the gombats design 
in the GOM, and you can see it. Here you have the standard. This is a round version of the rectangular piece. Very similar. You have the center. Then you have the leaves that come out. And then in the corners, you have the little wedges. Now, if you look in the round piece, same thing again. You have the center. You have the leaves coming out and then you have the wedges so here you have a round example here is the rectangular example this variation is also known as gombat it is one of three designs very popular this is probably right here the most popular design and this one right here i'm just going to put this aside so you can see the whole um this one is simply one of my favorites. I'm just going to lay this one out. This one um, right here. So this beauty right here is one of few. It's really hard to make these odd shaped pieces. But again, um, this is actually known as a Gombat Faraji. Um, I believe it was named after the designer but in almost all cases you have the center representing the sun and then as you come out you notice the leaves start out small and they become larger and larger and larger and you typically have a little bit of a shading and color and then you have the wedges on the outside again imagine being or in front of the mosque in Isfahan, or if you were, since the bazaars are by definition enclosed marketplaces, imagine being inside and looking up into the ceilings. Look at the ceilings, and this is what you would see. You would see the little tiles and how they are made up. So this right here, most popular design that I probably have in my website. The Nain rugs, the Gom rugs, the Tabriz, pretty much, I mean, this is, they, they sell. I mean, that's the best I can tell you. Uh, right here is another variation of the Gombat design. And I'm sorry, I have it laying a little bit awkwardly, but I'm gonna see if I, I think this is pretty much will give you an idea. Um, this is actually, for example, a design that we worked with, with the weavers. Um, we wanted to come up with some new variations. So here, this is a piece that is the same size as the one that's hanging on the wall. It's a five foot by seven foot, one and a half by two meter. But you can actually see it's almost like an oval pattern on the inside. This was our idea. This was something that we have done um, on the Gombat design. It is not so much, the focus is not on the colors. It is actually more on the symmetry. And this is why typically the Gombat design is only found in high-end pieces. As they make the rugs, they start at the bottom and work their way to the top now sorry let me just zoom out here real quick um, just to give you an idea bottom to top they have to keep the symmetry of the design in mind the entire time this is why the gombat design is rarely ever offered in the cheaper the low grade rugs when you talk about the symmetry and the difficulty in making, you typically will only find it in high-end Persian rugs. The most common ones are the Gom, Tabriz. This is where you also find the largest variety in colors. Another one, popular one is the Nain Isfahan. And then sometimes you'll find them in oddball pieces. But um, this is very, um, like I said, it's very popular. My clients, even the ones who are not really into the um, old school Persian rugs, um, 
the the gumbat design is such that for example you have a piece like a tabriz where it has lots of colors you put it next to a black couch um or a white couch or something you now have a centerpiece so these are the types of rugs that my clients rave about they really like them but i just want to let you know if you're looking at a gombat piece you are probably looking at a fine persian rug um, I have not yet found low-grade Tabriz rugs, for example, that featured this design, um, simply because of the difficulty in weaving. They have to make sure that the symmetry is perfect from start to finish. Otherwise, this center design will be off balance, and it just will not look right. So there you have it. Um, I hope this video uh, is of help to you, that you enjoyed it, especially if you are like me and you consider the Gombat design to be one of your favorites. Uh, this is, without a doubt, my favorite. So this video is all about the Gombat rugs. I hope you like it. Uh, as always, feel free to subscribe and to let me know if you have any questions. Leave me your comments or email me or visit me at mprugs.com. Like I said, we have one of the largest selections of the Gombat pieces simply because we work with the weavers and you know this is what we are known for. So hope you enjoyed the video. Wishing you the very, very best. Take care and we'll talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.